Can you just break down shape strings? So do they give you more spin? And also just talk about what that actually is. So I know there's different shapes like hexagonal type strings um, yeah. and they have edges and some of them are more round. Yeah. Uh, can you explain that for the person that might not know what that is? And then is there a different and does that actually create more spin or not? Yeah, so people generally go, oh, I hit the ball a bit flat. What should I do to get some more spin? And people will be like, oh, go grab a shape string, right? So something that's a bit hexagonal like you were mentioning with some edges but it's a bit of a myth, right? Those types of strings, they create more friction. So everything that we've seen in our research, you want snapback of the string bed. So you want the strings to actually move against themselves. So if you've got your mains and your crosses, you want them to kind of move like this when the ball's impacting to create spin. So by putting a shaped string in like that with edges, they're actually notching into each other and it's creating more friction and harder for them to move. Mm -hmm. So ideally you want the smoothest, roundest string possible to get extra spin unless you're someone like a professional player who can hit the ball so hard that you can actually force those strings to deform then it's a different story mm. but strings that are like alu rough as an example where they're not actually shaped they've got like they're almost pressed in so yeah, if you yeah, feel yeah. them there's almost like a it's like almost like a stamp press it's like rough coated yes that's a little bit different so they'll actually produce more spin because they're still round the actual true nature of that string is a round string mm -hmm. and they've kind of been pressed in with that shape versus something that's hexagonal it's actually got sharp edges onto it that'd be really hard to manufacture yeah i'm just thinking because the, 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 the strings are tiny and to create all those edges on them yeah strings quite interesting i don't know if you've seen it made i've seen a couple of videos where it's basically plastic they get heated they get put through this massive machine and they get stretched so mm. as they get stretched, they start to get to the string gauges and that's where they cut them out. So the more you stretch a string, obviously the thinner it gets, the less you stretch it, the thicker it is. What about gut? Because that's intestine, right? Yeah, same thing. So how is that manufactured? That would Is that a different process yeah. because it's a natural product? Or? Yeah, that one, I haven't really seen many videos of it. I've seen a couple of pictures of like what a factory would look like, but basically because it's a natural product, there's a lot of moisture in it, right? So... It's actually got to dry out so they've got it hanging these kind of warehouse type things yeah. they dry out they stretch them then they cut them that's why you end up with different and so obviously a lot harder to get the gauges so if you look at a company like Babolat with their guts they normally have like vs touch or vs team or tonic and, and those other types of gut which might be cheaper or more expensive and if you look at a, a, a tonic gut on the, on the packet, it actually doesn't give you the exact gauge. So it will say, it'll have like an arrow and it'll say no greater than 135 okay. or no less than 125 because they can't. It'd be so hard to actually yeah, yeah. pinpoint what that actually is. So the way is. it's been explained to me, whether it's right or wrong, it's almost like they've stretched it out. Mm. That middle section, they can get almost very right, cut it up into the right set and gauges and then the kind of the ends where they're pulling and doing stuff, it's obviously harder to get accurate. That's fascinating. Whether that's right or wrong, I'm not 100% sure, but that's yeah. how it's kind of been explained to me in the past. Mm -hmm. 